Oh, you know I'm excited. I just unboxed this very act. Finally arrived. I've been waiting all week for it. Ooh, you know the first thing I'm going to do is try it out, right? Ooh, that's going to be fun. Right, I'm going to power up this tube. It's a 38HK7, which to me implies the filament voltage should be 38 volts. So let's give it that. Five volts. Ten volts. Don't see anything yet. Twenty volts. There you go. It's glowing now. Twenty five volts. Yeah, that's glowing nice and bright now. So there you go, that's what it's supposed to do. So, yeah. There you go. All right, here we go. My question for you guys is, what do you think is gonna pop first? Will it be the power supply, the audio amp, the radio tuner or this mystery circuit board here we will find out right now when I turn this on all right I'm gonna bring it up to 20 volts <laughs> I'm gonna slowly crank it up. This capacitor is rated at 35 volts, so it's gonna blow. This thing's gonna blow first. Alright, we have 30 volts going in. How the Yankees stack him up as Waldo Cabrera will lead off. As they inning, he's batting for Aaron Judge. That spot in the order right, for three. 35 volts going in. Run score back in the sixth inning for Aaron Judge. Jeremy Beasley will continue to throw. Cabrera bats on the left volts. side of the plate. Easy steps into the line, his pitch. Fastball on the outside corner, called strike one. This is Dave coverage on our flagship station. Oh, I see smoke! Fan. 45 volts! We'll have more Blue Jays coverage. Cabrera swings and fouls the pitch back, so and two. Blake Murphy, Andrew Zuber will handle oh, Jay Oh, baby! After the oh, shit! And the light bulb is fully lit up. There is a short in there somewhere. All right. <laughs> what popped? What has popped? It looks like the audio amp has popped. No, no, a capacitor inside has popped. That is beautiful. I'm amazed this big one didn't pop. It is warm though, so it was getting ready to pop. But boy, look, that just popped and the radio died. Ooh, that was satisfying. I'm on five volts right now. 10 volts. Smoke is starting to come out again. No way, is it still working? It's still working. It's just making hum. Oh no, that's the motor. That's the eight track motor. I'm gonna give the stereo one final play. Straight into the wall. Instant pop. Nothing. Oh. Ooh. 
That's it. It's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah. Our next victim is this cordless phone. It's very hard for you to see, but the screen is on and I'm at 6 volts. That's the voltage this phone is rated for. So, I'm going to crank it up now. 8 volts. Ten, 11 volts. Twenty volts. Ooh. Now at forty volts. Alright, I don't really want the battery to catch fire in this thing. That would be a disaster. So, I'm going to remove it. Because I don't want to, like, have a fire happen. Alright. Oh, it's not lighting up anymore, but smoke is coming out. Alright, and we are at 48 volts. So, 60 volts. Seventy volts. I think it's dead. There's nothing happening. Hundred volts. I think we're done with this one. Actually, wait, is it still smoking? It's still smoking, so I might leave it a while. See what happens. It's not lighting up. Ooh, that was a strong one. For this next pop, we've got a speaker. Five volts. Look at that bass. Look at that bass. Ten volts. That was lame. For this last pop, I had this old answering machine. And I've just connected the, the leads to the, uh, the rectifier diodes. So, yeah, let's hope I hook this up right. Okay. Two volts, three volts. Ooh. What was that? Oh! We got a little lo Ooh! Ooh! What's going on? That was only at 5 volts! Alright, here is the second uh, input. Five volts. Ooh, 
Oh, I see the diodes are just cooking. I did that wrong for sure. It must be a short. Ooh, that's glowing. I definitely connected it wrong. Let's go again. Two volts. Five volts. Eight volts. Nine volts. Twelve volts. Popped on 19 volts. How sad. Maybe we can pop. I bet if I keep going, we can pop the amplifier circuit. I missed it, but I definitely heard it pop. Actually, I forgot something. I've connected to the 9 volt battery input now of this thing. So. I will now crank it up again. Eight volts. Fourteen volts. Oh, what's that sound? And we have a short. The light bulb is lighting up. We yeah, it's, it's popped already. I also found this today on the curb face down this thing stinks so i think we're going to take it apart and see how dirty it is inside and then maybe power it up too all right the back of the tv is loose so let me pull it off the screw no i did not it's just tight Could be a hidden screw. Did I, did I miss a screw down in here? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. The uh, there was a hidden screw. It looks looks like a low hour set. Look at that. The high voltage wire is almost perfectly clean. That's a good sign. Not much to see in one of these TVs. Just a circuit board with almost nothing on it. A few microscopic speakers. I'm just gonna... It actually looks dry. I might power it up. I'm just gonna power it up. I really don't care about it. If it blows up, it blows up. It reeks anyway. It absolutely reeks. Must have been sitting out for weeks because it stinks. Alright, here it goes. Here goes power. Where's my... The plug is bent. Gotta do some of this. Giving it power. Ooh. Ooh. Got all that flyback sound. It always screeches. It actually works. I thought it would blow up, but it's actually working. It's on channel 3. That means someone was using it with their... Converter box. I might try and clean it up and keep it. I don't know. It works so good. The CRT is good. Because the CRT is never bad in one of these. They last forever. It's a piece of crap. I'm sure some retro gamer would buy it on eBay for $1,000. Because it has these deluxe AV inputs here. You know I can't resist.
Is that all you got? <laughs> Pile up some computer fans. I've just got this bridge rectifier connected here. Already spinning. Only two volts AC. Maybe I should con connect a meter to see how many DC volts is coming out of that thing. Eddie, let's just pop this thing. What? I thought it was supposed to go faster, not slow down. Oh. Come on. No, are you dead now? Yeah, that's what I like to see. Ten volts. Twenty volts. Thirty volts. Ooh. Is that a capacitor? No. Thirty five volts. Forty volts. Fifty. I bet it's arcing in there right now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Probably got almost up to a hundred volts. I wasn't even looking what I was doing. <laughs> 